I now call on representatives of Hamilton's many constituencies, beginning with Student Assembly President Kareem Nugent, to offer greetings to our new president. Following Kareem, we will hear from Ann Owen, representing the faculty, Chow Fang Lin, who will speak on behalf of the staff, Carrie Burns Evans, who is here representing the local community, Gordon Kay, who will deliver remarks on behalf of the alumni, and Bob Delaney, who will bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Kareem, will you please come to the podium? Good morning, students, faculty, staff, community members, parents, alumni, trustees, and other, other distinguished guests. Welcome to this inaugural event, and I'm honored to be speaking on behalf of the student body. So as I was thinking about my speech, I wondered what could I tell you about David Whitman? And I sort of reflected back on our biweekly meetings. I could tell you about how often he goes to Utah every winter to ski with some old college buddies. I could tell you about that one time he gave expert advice to my vice president who wishes to study abroad in India. He told her, make sure you don't forget your Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> I could tell you about the time he attended a student assembly meeting uh, last semester, and in our first encounter, I told him, I'm the real president of Hamilton College. <laughs> yeah, um, that's so not true. But <laughs> on a more serious note, if there's anyone that I trust to serve as the president of Hamilton College, it's David Whitman. I can honestly say that he not only cares about the students, but he makes a valiant effort to get to know the students. During our meetings, he's always trying to figure out a way to get to know the students. Despite comments being a pretty intimidating, especially around noon, David Whitman is always there eating lunch and always interacting with the students. If he's not cycling with students, President Whitman is backing our blue, and you can check out his Instagram, it's true. Um, he's always attending several sporting events on the weekends and showing his school spirit. I'd like to think that David Whitman knows what it's like to be a Hamilton student just as much as I do. Hamilton students truly want administration that will not only listen to their concerns, but take them into consideration and offer possible solutions. Students want a president who will take into account multiple perspectives and one who's not afraid to go against the norm. Personally, I know that President Whitman, AKA D. Whips, or <laughs> the famous D. Whitman, as a student called him during her radio show after expressing how much she admired him, is truly in a position to bring change on this campus, and I know he won't disappoint, or I expect him not to. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure getting to know you, President Whitman, and I look forward to working, uh, to working closely with you. It is my honor to represent the faculty in welcoming David Whitman as the 20th president of Hamilton College. We do this at a time of great opportunity for liberal arts colleges generally, but especially for Hamilton as it welcomes new leadership. We live in a time that is characterized by rapid change and uncertainty. Among other things, our students will face the challenges presented by the consequences of climate change, an increasingly complex geopolitical landscape, growing inequality, and significant demographic change in the US and many other developed nations. But at Hamilton, we face these realities with the knowledge that those who are best prepared to embrace unexpected challenges and to creatively solve multifaceted problems are those who are broadly educated and stand on the firm foundation of a strong liberal arts education. We look forward to working with President Whitman to prepare our students to live meaningful lives in today's world. For those of you who know the Hamilton faculty, you may appreciate that often we passionately debate from multiple perspectives and experiences we rarely speak with one voice, but today we do. David, we welcome you into our intellectual community and we invite you to work together with us to provide the very best liberal arts education.
President Women, on behalf of the staff, I would like to welcome you to Hamilton. I know you are beginning to find your way around as I have seen you cycling through Clinton and the surrounding towns. I would like to let you know that as you begin to explore more, we, the staff who live in these surrounding communities, are here to help you understand the terrain and give you a heads up if there's a steep hill looming ahead. As you embark on this journey as president, if you come upon a hill you're not expecting, please know that you can rely on us, the staff, your teammates, to work with you and support you to ensure that you overcome that obstacle. Thank you, welcome, and best wishes for a long and productive tenure at Hamilton. I'd like to offer a big welcome to our newest friend, David Whitman. Greetings as well to all visiting dignitaries, Hamilton College faculty, staff, parents, and students, and all the townies out there like me. David, please allow me to cover some history of this special place to show how rich it is in the pursuit of education. Clinton was founded in 1787, or just six years before Samuel Kirkland started the Hamilton Oneida Academy that you know became Hamilton College in 1812. Interestingly, Reverend Kirkland's efforts were matched and emulated many times over as Clinton, New York became known as the village of schools. Altogether, some 50 private schools and academies have operated in Clinton, including the Houghton Seminary, where Clara Barton was educated, and fun fact, two Hamilton graduates make their home today. A few other notables who are educated in Clinton are Elihu Root, Grover Cleveland, and Leland Stanford. History lesson over. As I thought about this day and the message I wanted to share with you, I kept coming back to the realization that our communities are truly woven together. I want to share the townie perspective of that thought. We have professors and Hamilton employees as neighbors and friends. Our kids pet sit for some. We send our children to Hamilton sports and leadership camps. Our kids become littles to Hamilton bigs. We attend sporting events and sacerdote lectures. We support the Town Gown Fund, and we send our children to Hamilton. Another fun fact, my great-grandfather had a general store where the subway shop is today. His hard work allowed him to send my grandfather and two brothers to Hamilton. And since then, 14 other family members have passed through this campus, my dad and two brothers included. And maybe number 18 is sitting out there for the possible class of 2025, huh, Sid? We also have many great assets to share in our wonderful community. We have our own art center, town library, summertime concerts, farmer's market, the ABC program, garden club, Kiwanis club, arena, historical society, town pool, town park, terrific restaurants, and a shop for just about everything. We have so much to offer that I'll leave you with this community guidebook for your reference, David. <laughs> I follow you on Instagram, like many others, and I'm excited to see that you're making your way around the Hamilton community, although I'm not quite sure I understand the tinfoil caps. As you settle in with your Hamilton family, we invite you to join the greater community as an active participant for many years to come. So David, on behalf of the Clinton and Town of Kirkland community, I welcome you. Thank you, Carrie. My name is Gordon Kay. I'm president of the Hamilton College Alumni Association. Um, I would just say before I start my prepared remarks that I recently heard a speaker call Clinton the Versailles of Utica. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> anyway, it's an honor to greet and welcome you on behalf of Hamilton's alumni both those returning to the Hill and those all around the world. I was recently reading a letter from, a Ham from the Hamilton Historical Archives, written by a very early 19th century alumnus of the college, and he was bragging about the accomplishments of his class. At the height of his rhetoric, he summoned the greatest praise he could think of for his classmates. Quote, none of us went to jail, and none of us served in Congress. <laughs> the, 
The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> so here it is two centuries later, and I, uh, and I have that same urge to praise our alumni today. President Whitman, you will find the alumni of Hamilton College to be loyal beyond all reason, accomplished beyond belief, articulate beyond all sense, stunningly intelligent and disciplined, creative and warm and loyal, funny and generous and loyal, insightful and challenging and loyal, <laughs> fascinating and supportive and loyal, and did I mention loyal? We are diverse in opinions, attitudes, ages, lifestyles, increasingly so in geography, race, gender, and ethnicity, and in every other possible way. But we share a few things. We share the understanding that there is something unique and enduring about the College Hill education and experience and how it shapes us. We share the sense that this beautiful and dignified campus is forever home. We share the awareness that Hamilton has always marched to the beat of its own drummer, not always in the right, quite right direction, but most often toward a more perfect institution. We share the commitment to undergraduate education and in particular clear communication, lifelong learning, and genuine collaboration. And we share the pride that we are increasingly looked upon nationally as an example, and I would argue the example, of what a liberal arts college can and should be. And so on behalf of decades and centuries of alumni, I thank you for rising to the challenge of guiding this institution to new heights. Please look upon us as a repository of the history and traditions of this magic place. I welcome you to our unique community, look forward to your contributions, and pledge our support and loyalty. Thank you. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I would like to extend our warm welcome to President Whitman. Eighteen months ago, the Board began a search for the finest possible candidate to become Hamilton's 20th President. From a deep pool of candidates, David Whitman stood out as the one person who had all of the qualities we were seeking in a new President. David is an exceptional academic leader with proven administrative skills, a strategic thinker who can lead the Hamilton community in creating a bold vision for the future, an educator who is passionately committed to students and the liberal arts residential model, a scholar who can support and encourage Hamilton's outstanding faculty, an expert on international law and human rights who has demonstrated a deep-seated commitment to diversity and inclusiveness, and an approachable and engaging leader who can cultivate and nurture the loyalty of Hamilton alumni. President Whitman, you are taking on a challenging assignment, making an extraordinary institution even better. From all accounts, you're off to a terrific start. We, the members of the board, pledge our support to you as the new president of our beloved college. We look forward to working with you and the rest of the Hamilton community to make Hamilton even better at providing its students with an exceptional liberal arts education. Please accept our heartfelt wishes for a successful and brilliant tenure. Thank you.